My ongoing battle with vermin in the shed may suggest a dislike of small mammals. I beg to differ with this taxidermy weasel. The cadaver has been case skinned. Its soft pelt peeled from the body like a sock. The torso discarded and replaced with wood wool, a packaging material, wrapped tightly with twine. The surrogate's head, carved from hardened polyurethane foam or clay, is finished with two pinned black beads, gently eased through the eye holes in the ermine's fur. In front, a hard nose, long whiskers and sharp teeth, adapted for its carnivorous diet of mice, voles and baby rabbits. Here, the limbs of the mustelid, filled with a galvanised wire cocooned in cotton wool, are attached to the handlebars and pedals of a non-practical bicycle. The frame created from strong sixteenth of an inch thick wire, similar to that of a dartboard. The stamped metal wheels are protected by rubber tyres which are tubeless, meaning this is one weasel that won't go pop in the shed. <laughs>